Hello, hello everyone. Water Bear of the Water Bears T here, and I want to talk to you about what's going to be happening this month, okay? So, Pisces, the zodiac sign of Pisces is going to be the highlight of the month, and Saturn and Neptune are going to be the planets of the month, okay? Because Saturn and Neptune are currently both in the sign of Pisces, and both of these planets are going to be going retrograde this month. Now, since Neptune and Saturn move pretty slow, we feel their retrograde way before it starts, okay? And so this weekend, I don't know if you felt the exhaustion and kind of the heaviness coming in. A lot of people are also beginning to make major decisions. There's a lot of deciding points happening in people's lives that could affect their lives for a long term. Thinking about major commitments, major choices. Um, this is also Saturn, okay? Saturn deals with the heaviness, heaviness and energy, insecurities, depression. The things of revealing the things in us that show our weakness, revealing our insecurities and our cracks and our foundation so that we can ultimately grow stronger. But the realization of that sucks because Saturn makes you work hard and makes you progress and um, put in so much effort. He withholds things, restricts things from you. And so his energy has been really strong in the energy of in the sign of Pisces since March. And he's going to be going retrograde in a week and a half. But until then, his energy is extremely heightened. So many people will be feeling more down, more depressed, more insecure. Um, many people's structures and stability will be more insecure, more unstable. There'll be a lot of overworking, a lot of responsibility coming in. There's going to be a lot of big choices as well. People making big choices that most likely they're going to be redefining and reshifting over the next six months during the Saturn retrograde. So, um, it's interesting. Okay, so just know that this heaviness is here and it will fade. Once we get into the um, Saturn retrograde's energy over the next month, we will see lessening in external circumstances that bring depression, insecurity. It'll be more working on internal structures, but we will feel the heaviness of Saturn lighten up a bit. Neptune is also going to go retrograde at the end of this month in the same sign, Pisces. And Neptune rules over the energy of Pisces, okay? And so while he's been direct, he has been helping us to expand our dreams, helping us to connect to the divine. But also he has been bringing in confusing situations in regards to relationships, in regards to career path. Neptune fogs reality and fogs clarity and makes us have to move through things that we can't understand. Um, and learn to surrender and trust through that. So we've had a lot of situations that we don't really know what the hell is going on. And we've had to surrender and trust and move through it. Um, this energy is going to be heightened. There's going to be a lot more of what is going on this month. A lot more of I don't know what to do. A lot more of our delusions and our confusing viewpoints of things being exposed to us. Okay, Because once Neptune goes retrograde, all this fanciful and confusing energy gets dried up a bit. And we're able to actually see what is going on and actually see the reality of our situation more clearly. So until then, surrender, flow. Neptune's energy is heightened now, really increasing our need to surrender and trust spirit regardless of what is going on. We most likely will not understand what is going on or the full direction of things until July, okay? Um, then we have energies of Venus retrograde happening, Mercury retrograde happening, um, which is going to bring a lot more reshifting and shaping. But just know the heaviness the major choices, the seriousness um, that we're feeling is Saturn going retrograde, okay? His energy's heightened, but that will fade soon. And the confusion and the insane dreams, the weird sleeping patterns. This is Neptune, okay? And that will soon fade as well. So that's what I have, y'all. Stay tuned, stay strong, keep moving forward. Um, the energy's gonna get a little interesting, as I just said, but I'm here for you and we're all here for each other, so... Um, if you want a reading, you know where to find me, check out my site, and I can continue to stay posted because a lot of new things are coming. Um, if you want to learn about how to read a birth chart, that class is coming up. Check out my website, okay? So much love. That's what I have. Talk to you later.